Yo, what's up, everybody? This is Chris Eastwood. Um, excuse me, excuse me for the camera. I want to show y'all something real quick in Presonic Studio One. Um, like edit, edit when you edit your vocals. Like as soon as you finish recording, you know the basic. What we gotta do? We gotta take all like the the sounds, like the the silence in between the vocals, like the unwanted sounds in between the vocals. You gotta take that stuff out. And sometimes it's a process of doing that because you gotta go to each vocal and you gotta sit there and cut. Like each piece out in between, like each space in between all the vocals, the empty spaces. And sometimes those empty spaces have like, you know, hiss, noise or whatever inside the vocals. But I just found something that's real fast inside Presonic Studio One that i never seen in no other doll that I ever used. This is crazy. Check this out. All you got to do is you highlight these vocals. Yes, you can highlight all your vocals at one time, right? And what you do, you got this option up here. It's right here. It's called um, it's called the strip silence. That's what it's called. And what you do, once you click on the strip silence, you got all these options right here. Right? This is what you do. Okay, now, you got a detection option, right? It's called manual. You got different options from lots of silence, little silence, noise floor, noise floor, whatever it's called, and manual. See? Leave it on manual, I'm going to be honest with you. All right. What I realized, the best preset, the best threshold setting, try to start at 54. Start at like 53, negative 54 dB, right? Because if you go any higher, what it do, it cuts your vocals off. Instead of it's cutting, instead of it's cutting like the, um, it just slices your vocals where it sounds like a gate on that drum. You know what I mean? But you, you don't want that. You want it to be, you know. You just wanted to kill all the silence in between your vocals. And once you set this to 54, something like that, right? All these events, leave that where it's at. You can play with this if you want to. You play with this if you want to. And what you do, you go to apply, right? And watch this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you these vocals. I'm going to press apply. I'm going to just press this button right here and watch. Now it just cut. It just What it did, it silenced all the spaces. It, it found all the spaces in between my vocals, right? And at the same time, what it do? It it, it rolls a um, it put a fade it put a fade out on each part. And the reason why I put a fade out on each part is so you don't hear that clicking when you cut certain parts of your vocals or any audio track. Simple as that. Now when I play it back, it sound like this. I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play that back. Don't worry about the reverb. That's it's too loud. Don't worry about that. I'm gonna play the. Um, I'm gonna mute the track. I'm gonna play it back and let you hear it. She like the way I work it, the way I twerk it. She got a nigga harmonizing. She like the way I work it, the way I twerk it. She got a nigga harmonizing. I know. My vocals not mixed down. It's nothing mixed down. It's just dry vocals. But my point is, what it do, it prevent you from stretching every wave and cutting every little piece out one by one. Trying to find each piece of of the empty space in between the vocals and cutting it out. That's some quick shit. Leave a comment. Subscribe me. I got more things, you know, tricks and tips and tricks I can show everybody. I go by the name of Chris Eastwood. Holler at me.